Hi, this is Mato. In this video, I will show you a game between Paul Keres and Vasily Smyslov. This is the game from FIDE World Championship Tournament that was played in The Hague, Netherlands, in 1948. Paul Keres had white pieces and he started with c4, going for English opening. Knight to f6, knight to f3, c6, knight to c3, d5, e3, g6, d4, bishop to g7, c takes on d5, knight takes on d5, bishop to c4, and both players castle at kingside, b6, queen to b3, knight takes knight, pawn takes knight, bishop to a6, with the idea to exchange white's good bishop, bishop to a3, bishop takes on c4, queen takes on c4, rook to e8. White is slightly ahead in development. e4, black to move. Smyslow wants to play knight to d7, but then queen takes pawn on c6. So he played b5, pushing the queen back. Queen to b3, knight to d7, c4, rook to b8, rook from a to d1, queen to a5, closing the file, b4, attacking the bishop, bishop to b2, e5. White to move. position is becoming complex. What would you do in this position if you had white pieces? Paul Keres played knight to g5. What Smyslov had in mind is knight takes on e5, bishop takes knight, pawn takes bishop, Knight takes on c5, and black is standing somewhat better. Keres played knight to g5, threatening queen takes pawn on f7 check, defending the pawn. f4, Keres is throwing more wood on the fire. e takes on d4, black is a pawn up and threatening knight takes pawn on c5. What now? Please pause the video and find the best move for white. What is the best move for white? Is rook to c1 good defending the pawn? can defend the pawn. The only way is forward. f5. This is the move that makes the difference. Knight takes on c5, attacking the queen. Queen to h3. Threatening queen takes pawn on h7. h5. What happens if h6 is played? If h6, then f6, bishop takes pawn, rook takes bishop, and now after h takes on g5, bishop takes on d4. Knight takes on e4, and then rook to f5 is winning for white. The threat is rook takes queen, and another one is rook, check, mate. So Smyslow played h5, f6, forking two pieces, bishop to h6, pawn takes rook, bishop takes knight, queen to f3, threatening queen takes pawn on f7, 
f6 bishop takes on d4 threatening bishop takes pawn knight to d7 defending the pawn white to move white play the move and black resigned please pause the video and find the winning move for white what did you find Keres played h4 Smyslo resigned Queen to b3 is also winning after king goes somewhere then the queen to e6 in the game we have h4 if now bishop takes on h4 then the queen to h3 forking two pieces and the one more threat is queen to e6 check pushing the pawn to e8 promoting it to dragon lady or something like that that is why smyslov resigned in this position very nice attack by paul Keres. what do you think of this game and that is all i hope that you enjoyed watching this video i wish you good luck with your chess and bye for now